Hello everyone. In the previous session, we studied about analog to digital converters as well as digital to analog converters. So now in this session, we'll study about small signal half-wave rectifiers. In this, we have got two types. First one is positive small signal half-wave rectifier and the second one is negative small signal half-wave rectifier. So first we'll uh, understand what a half wave rectifier is it is to talk in simple terms it is uh, an ac to dc converter uh, so here we uh, they have uh, referred it to as small signal because the signal whatever giving whatever we are giving it as uh, an input is lesser than 0.7 volt so uh, the term uh, small signal is used here and uh, positive because uh, you'll uh, come to know after going through the explanation so this is the configuration of the positive small signal half wave rectifier here uh, a small signal of less than 0.7 volt is given as the input to the non inverting terminal and uh, this is the feedback path mm -hmm. and uh, we are uh, using the diode D1 in the feedback path and the output voltage is uh, measured across the load resistance RL here and uh, this circuit analysis is done for two cases. First one is for input voltage less than 0 volts and for input voltage greater than 0 volts. So first we'll consider the input voltage is greater than 0 volts meaning the for the positive half cycle of the input signal. So whenever this V in is greater than 0 so this V in will be positive going signal and uh, this op amp has a very high loop uh, voltage gain therefore it produces a very high output voltage v not dash okay so this this v not dash is available here and this is given as the input voltage to the diode d1 so since this is very high this is capable of driving this diode d1 into forward bias so this diode will act as a switch and it turns on so this circuit can be rewritten as shown here wherein the diode d1 is short circuited and this feedback path is closed okay now this overall circuit will act as a voltage follower meaning the output voltage will follow the input voltage okay so here by the concept of virtual ground we know that the potential at both inverting and non-inverting terminal are equal so v1 is equal to v2 that is equal to the input voltage v in and since this act as a voltage follower this output voltage will follow the input voltage so v0 is equal to v2 okay so the entire positive half cycle the entire positive half cycle meaning for v in greater than zero volt is available at the output signal because this is a closed loop and it acts as a voltage follower output voltage will follow the input voltage which is equal to v in and the second case when v in is less than zero meaning it is negative so the diode the diode you can see here this diode d1 is reverse biased so in reverse bias it acts as an open circuit it acts as an open circuit and this feedback path is open now so this circuit can be rewritten as shown here so this diode d1 is in off condition and it acts as an open circuit so this feedback path is open as you can see here and no current flows through the load resistance rl hence the output voltage is zero volts so here for v in lesser than zero volts the output voltage is zero as you can see here because d1 is off and why we call it as positive because for the positive half cycle of the input we are getting positive half cycle of the 
output hence the name positive and this configuration is also known as non inverting half wave rectifier because positive half cycle exists at the output and next negative small signal half wave rectifier now by this time you would have already uh, come to know why the term negative and what is the significance of this term it is simple for the negative half cycle of the input we will be getting negative half cycle at the output so this is the configuration of the negative small signal half wave rectifier just the direction of this diode d1 is reversed or inverted when compared to the positive small signal half wave rectifier so same this circuit can also be analyzed in two cases for v in greater than 0 and v in lesser than 0 so first we will consider v in greater than 0 so if v in is greater than 0 it is a positive going signal and this uh, due to the high open loop gain of the uh, op amp this v naught dash is also very high and uh, this is capable of making this diode d1 reverse biased because it is applied to the cathode and this diode it is reverse bias so it, this diode will act as open circuit because it is off condition so the output voltage will be equal to zero and no since no current flows through the load resistance rl so for v in greater than zero here high voltage will be available at the output of the diode and this is given to the cathode terminal of the diode d1 so this will become reverse bias and it acts as an open circuit it is in off condition so no current flows through the load resistance rl because this feedback path is open and hence the current is zero for v in greater than zero meaning for this positive half cycle of the input next we'll see if what happens if v in is lesser than zero so this is the negative going signal now see v in lesser than zero this is the negative in negative direction the voltage is going and uh, here uh, if we apply negative voltage to the cathode this diode d1 will act as a short circuit so this uh, feedback path is now closed and the circuit acts as an voltage follower so the output voltage v naught v naught that we are measuring at this terminal this terminal v naught so it will be equal to the input voltage because by the concept of virtual ground the old potential at both non-inverting as well as inverting will be equal and uh, it is equal to v in the uh, since uh, this diode is uh, on and uh, it acts as a closed switch in on condition the feedback path is closed the output voltage that we are getting at this terminal is v in so for the negative half cycle of the input meaning for v in less than zero we are getting the input voltage at the output signal that is v in itself so this is about uh, the negative uh, small signal half wave rectifier and in this the one main concept that you must remember here is that the signal amplification does not take place the amplitude of the signal remains the same as you can see here minus 100 millivolt is the amplitude here in the negative peak here also after rectification the amplitude will be minus 100 millivolt itself here also it's the same so this is about small signal half wave rectifiers and the next class we'll study about active filters